It don't seem like he's there, son. All right, we don't want to be to, to, to um get careless now, okay? But I needed to go in there a little bit more. I need that straight right as soon as he comes in, bang that straight right in and roll out, okay? Yes. Some positives oh, early on for Booth supporters. Well, is it going to be another case of uh, Britain overestimating foreign opposition? Booth doing more than holding his own in the opening round, winning the second round for me. Pushing the champion onto the back foot. The family, Nicky Booth, big smile on the face. What a result it would be against the odds. But there is a long, long way to go. Booth knows that. He's completed 12 rounds on 10 occasions. Molitor on eight. It's a flat, slow start from Steve Molitor whose promoter Alan Tremblay was being very honest in the build-up to this, saying, I'm not quite sure how much he's got left, Molitor. We think he might be near the end. Well, nothing has flown from him as yet. He's not initiating the attacks, he's been backed up. So, several things that you don't want to be doing away from home. I mean, so everything that Booth lands, the crowd are going to scream which can influence the judges. Well, the Tor actually looks out of sorts. Very lacklustre so far, Molitor. Some feel he's been a bit gun-shy since that loss to Caballero. And Jason Booth has five defeats on the slate, but he's never been taken apart as the blood trickles down the left eye. And a right hand from Booth here in the third. See, I think the problem in the Caballero loss Fighters know they can lose, but they don't think they can be dominated, and he was dominated, and there's that right hand again from Booth, picking it beautifully. Timing's good from Booth, quality shots, always been a craftsman, but he's failed at European level, This the big jump up, and he's handling himself very well so far, body shot back from Molitor, returned by Booth. There's no spark in Molotov's performance so far. Again, being pushed back by the smaller Booth. Standing in front of him, Molotov trades. Tactics, obviously, to get close, work the body of Molotov. As Johnny Nelson was saying in the studio, they think that might be a weakness, especially if he's tight at the weight after so long making super bantam weight. Just the feeling last time out against Matthew Marsh that Jason Booth might be aging slightly in the ring. No evidence tonight. Not he's settled quickly, he's looking smooth. He's the one able to put punches together. Molotov coming to life a little bit more. But still not firing in all cylinders. Not just a stumble, just a right stumble. Hand that Booth landed was better, that was a stumble, no knockdown. Who's catching Molotov more easily than many anticipated in the eye troubling the champion. This is good work from Jason Booth. The defence is good and he's having the last word after the little exchanges. All good signs, looking very relaxed, things are flowing for him. Fight. Right, Jay. We're in now, okay? Speed, I'd say you're faster than him, all right? Okay, you've got more power than him. I don't want you messing about with him now, okay? All right, I want you to lay in on him. That's the bottom okay, keep your defence tight. When you're inside, right. he's Straight the right, but you've got to be quick How with it. Feel? Lead right. Bam, 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 left okay. okay, you're right. standing up too high. Your yeah. head's too right. high in the air. Get a little slower. Let the go. You ready now? Welcome back. The IBF Super Bantamweight title on the line. Jason Booth was a big underdog before we started. Now they can't split them. A little bit like Ricky Burns and Roman Martinez last week. Well, a repeat of that story, but we'd all settle for that, wouldn't we? Excellent start from Booth. Finish with that shot, all right? Come on. Seconds out, round four. 
Gonna be a bright, bubbly guy, Steve Molitor. Doesn't quite look himself in the corner. And they were shouting encouragement. There's the sharp right hand of Jason Booth. He looks speedy. Obviously trying to get Molitor off balance, but he's worked out the southpaw style terrifically so far. Yeah, but we're reaching the stage where Molitor is going to have to start chasing this. And that will suit Booth down to the ground. He loves counter-punching, loves drawing mistakes and punishing opponents. But Molitor has to liven up. Can put good combinations together, Molitor. He's got 12 knockouts in his 32 wins. Booth has 15 in his 35. Michael Hunter was telling us earlier in the build-up that it really was the speed that was the problem when he fought Molitor. Maybe he's not quite as quick a few years later. Quicker to pull the trigger, Booth. Well, he's never been able to use the southpaw stance as an advantage. It hasn't troubled Booth in the slightest because he's not leading off enough. Did fight David Giroud, a southpaw for a European title. Jason Booth floored him. Obviously, handle the style. Nice right hand. Molitor's corner, you'd be getting a little bit concerned, wouldn't you, Jim? Yeah, but he has to liven up. I mean, he only looks half at it. You know, he's been caught by silly right hands. His work is looking forced. Doesn't have the sharpness that we saw from him last time he was here. Right hand again from Booth. Won this IBF title for the second time against Takalini and Glove. Back home in Ontario. And the reports we heard from that was that he was a touch shot born that night. Six months out of the ring, and with that injury in preparation, Molitor has plenty to do as Booth again finds success with the right, the short right hand. Well, they say the straight right hand is the classic punch against the southpaw, and it's working so well for Booth here. Molitor's boxing just seems to lack snap tonight. Good body shot back from Molitor. Can't get into a rhythm, though. Minor burst. And Boo just talking to him in there. Yes? Yep. Right, he's starting to get that. I needed to start going with that. All right, good job. Next Saturday, Skybox Office, the Magnificent Seven features seven big live fights as we showcase the best of British boxing talent. Call that number on your screen for more information or simply go to channel 743. That's next Saturday night. All calm and cool in the blue corner of Jason Second Two round, Smooth Booth. Now a family man, four children, wife Sarita. The 32-year-old back from the brink. The former alcoholic and drug addict who has fought his way back. And that is something in itself. The white trunks and the red velvet of Steve Molitor, the champion from Canada. 34th outing, remember, only ever lost once. Ranked one or two in the world in the eight stone 10 division of all the champions. Good start from Booth, Jim. It's an excellent start from Booth. Molitor is looking confused at times. He's not stringing any of his work together. It's all disjointed, single punches. You would think he would impose himself, use his, his natural size and strength. 
against Booth, but he's not even trying to do that. He's trying to just pick the odd punch here and there. Lovely jab back from Booth again. Booth really timing things nicely. It's a bit of left hand from Monitor, who just has to be careful about the straight shot. Behind on points against Matthew Marsh last time out when Marsh was cut, so he retained his crown, Jason Booth. Needs his reflexes. Attempting to get the left hand flowing, Molitor. Ducking and diving well, though, Booth. The footwork might win in the fight. Listen, Molitor is no... He's afraid to throw punches because he's not confident they're going to land. In that case, you should be putting punches together when you're against a slippery customer. But he's still trying to do the single punches there, left hook back from Booth. Good body, body shots shot. from Molitor. And again, there's some meat behind those, but Booth's always had a good chin and a good resilience. That was some good work from Molitor there, putting punches together one of the few times. He's woken up in the fifth, Molitor, still the pressure from Booth. I just wonder, is he strong at the weight, Molitor, because the, the, his, his performance lacks snap, there's no devil in it. I think that's key, Jim. I heard that they were really struggling to get him down before the weigh-in last night, Steve Molitor. Landed some good body shots. Competing a bit more, so Booth really wants to force them into a battle here, but no, he doesn't have weight problems. Molotov landed some good body shots in this round, probably his best round, but still way short of his best form. Afraid to try and out tough in Booth, but might have been Molotov's session. Why are you acting like you're tired, man? Step to this motherfucker. You with me? Yeah. Touch, it, touch the body and come upstairs. Chris. Touch the body, come upstairs. Feign him when he's coming in, drop the hook to the body, come upstairs. Give him angle. You hear me? Yes. Give him angle. As soon as you punch, blah, blah, blah. And you only shoot one, two, three. Right, I needed to get them body shots in now, so, okay? All right. Sorry. All right. Okay. Let's get them body shots in. Yes. Get in close. When you're in close, you're not firing anything. You're fumbling with him. Tony Harris wants more body shots. Yeah, well, especially if there are any questions that Molotov taking the weight, then the, the body shots would have twice the impact. But he landed some good shots of his own in that round, Molotov. But still way short of what we expected from him. Jason Booth, who began boxing at 10, he was a terrific amateur on the European juniors and has been boxing as a pro for 14 years. Molitor, decent amateur pedigree as well. He's been around a decade. Let's have a look at this. Booth now, for the first time, is the favourite, a narrow favourite, six to four on to become our fourth world champion and our second in a week. But a long, long way to go and it will feel a long time as well in there. Turn southpaw, Booth, trying to outfox Molitor here. Yeah, but still able to take the centre of the ring, Booth. He's so proud of himself, the way he's battled against the demons of drinky. Carries a little notebook around, which says what soft drinks he has now, and the training regime and the sessions. Fabulous that he's fighting for a world title. Steve Molitor's also had his troubles out of the ring with his brother jailed for murder. He's a tough battler and he'll want to hold on to this IBF crown. Nice work from Molitor. Yeah, he's beginning. I think Booth is forcing things a little bit more in this round. He wants to raise the pace. He's forcing things a little bit, just making little errors here and there. So you have to be careful of that against a classy southpaw. Good right hand, though, as Molitor just stayed still for a moment. The circling, the movement still. 
giving Molitor trouble. Not quite getting his balance. When he plants his feet, he looks effective. The Molitor looking a bit more aggressive in this session. in three of his last four, though, Molitor. November 2008, when he fell apart at home against Caballero. Sharp shot there. I think Booth, as I say, just forcing things a little bit here, not quite so smooth. The Canadians getting excited in the red corner alongside us. They feel that their man is beginning to find his feet. This is good from Molitor. Yeah, this is a different uh, Steve Molitor now, committing himself a little bit more. Whereas Booth worked not quite so smooth, making errors here and there. They're not getting in and out like he was, working the body. Let's get straight over to Ed, who's got Billy Hardy and Rendell Monroe with him. Well, Rendell, how do you think your friend and sparring partner's getting on? Yeah, yeah, obviously, at the minute, I think he's winning the fight. Like I said, he's got sublime skill, really, you know what I mean? He's quality on the, on the, the craft, the boxing craft in the ring. And obviously, if he, he keeps with his game what he's doing, I think he could win the fight. Billy, is Steve Molitor coming back into it after a slow start? He had a very slow start. Um, I've never seen a world champion so disinterested. He's, he was flat for the first four rounds. It's gone around six, and he's just come alive now. Well, the room is the Molotov struggle with the weight. If that's true, surely he'll, he'll fade late, won't he? Yeah, yeah, obviously, if he's struggling with the weight, obviously, if Jason keeps pressing him and obviously making him missing punches, you know what I mean? Obviously, that, that, that'll show the effect later on. Thank you, gentlemen. Rendell Munro in training for his shot at the WBC champion, Toshiaki Nishioka. That's out in Japan. Only five punches on the computer between them. It is close. It is tight. Maybe Booth a round or two up, Jim. I have Booth one point up at the moment, uh, because I thought Molotov nicked the last couple of rounds, just been a little bit busier. Whereas Booth not quite so smooth. But uh, Booth, the Booth camp must be, ex must be delighted with the start that he's made. And there's Jim's card, just a point in it as we enter the second half of this World Super Bantamweight Championship fight. Steve Molitor hoping to make it four out of four in Britain, having beaten Jason's brother Nicky, John Mackay and Michael Hunter. Good left hand for Molitor and Boob just has to grab hold in the seventh. See, for the first time, I think Molitor trying to impose himself, use his strength a bit more. I'm amazed this is not the way he started the thing. Head's nearly coming together again. That cut hasn't worsened on Molotov's left eye, but the left hand that he's throwing has improved dramatically in the last two or three rounds. He's showing a little faint now, yeah, he's showing a little faint to Booth, forcing him to move. Yeah, this is different stuff now from Molotov. disrupted Booth, who goes back to the body and to the head. He's having some success as well, the challenger. Good response. This. Good response from Booth. It's nice if the, the champion produces good work, you can come back and take charge again. Again, downstairs goes Molitor. But Booth, whatever happens here on in, is proving that he does belong in this sort of class, Jim. Yeah, well, he was giving uh, Molotov a boxing lesson for a couple of the earlier rounds. When Molotov seemed half asleep. Chipping away when he gets in close, Booth, but decent defence from Molotov. Intelligent ring technicians, these two. defence from Booth. This is a tough session to score. Molotov may have had the better of the first part, Booth coming back. Yeah, Molotov, he's the one who's improved, that's for sure. Not much in the round, but uh, for the first time, Molotov south for jab, starting to work, working in body shots too. 
Looking strong now, Molotov, which I wasn't seeing a couple of rounds ago. Good round of action, this, the seventh. Heating up, decent defence, but one or two slip through from Molitor, who might just have nicked the round with that volley. Yeah, I think that the quality punching is coming from Molitor in this round. He's setting himself now, he's raised the tempo. Good round.